So welcome back, family. Um, at Harvest, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, how's it going? Has anyone been doing family worship? I hope so. Uh, yeah, I know it's probably awkward if it was your first time. Um, you might find it a little difficult, but that's what these videos are for, is to encourage you, show you that you don't have to take a long time. You don't have to, you know, go through, you know, long, drawn out expositions on the scripture, um, which is fine. That's good. I, I, I love exposition, but um, uh, it's, it doesn't have to take an hour. Um, hopefully, once you start doing this, discussions come up and you do get in these long uh, discussions about scripture and about the character of God and who he is. So, last time we um, I talked about God being holy and in God's divine providence as it turns out we're going to be talking about God is just uh, with a, everything going on I think it's pretty cool that um, that's where this lands nothing magical is just how it happened in God's uh, divine providence uh, with everything all the craziness going on in the world with people, you know, thinking they have the the niche on justice. Uh, true justice comes from God, and the truth is we are all sinners, which is the point of this whole gospel. Uh, we all need a savior. Uh, spoiler alert. So anyhow, I'm going to talk about God's justice, and um, got a screen here, so I may take my eyes off camera and go to the screen where my notes are uh, and I am at work but I'm on my lunch I have a 45 minute lunch break this shouldn't take more than 45 minutes I see I've already been running my mouth for two minutes so God is just so what I want to do uh, or something you can do again this is just a template or just a suggestion on you know how to talk to your family about God and the gospel during your family worship time so uh, we're, the claim is God is that God is just. We talk about God being holy. This this week, we're talking about God being just. Just definition of just is based on or having. Oh, sorry, based on or behaving to what is morally right and fair. Okay, that brings the question up: What is fair? That is in accordance with the rules or standards. So we can first just talk about our understanding of just or what justice is justice is justice is not necessarily saying um, you know my brother gets a cookie I get a cookie that's just that's fair no there are rules there are standards involved in justice okay and so that's very important to remember because when we think of justice and fairness we think of equal playing field that's not actually how that works. Um, so there's there's a standard. If I did not clean my room, then I do not get a cookie. That's a I, I don't even I, do people get cookies for cleaning the room. I don't oh, an allowance. There you go. Um, so you can kind of do that or whatever. Do your own thing. But this is kind of an idea to kind of talk to the kids if we're talking to kids about uh, fairness and justice. Um, and if it's just you and your spouse, then you know you can have an adult conversation about fairness and justice. Okay, so remember, God is holy and his ways are so much higher than our ways. His thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts. His standards are higher than our standards. Um, so we should not be surprised to find that, um, you know, when we think of justice and fairness, that we find ourselves at odd with at odds with God, um, and so we have Scripture to find out the character of God to to as the the pointer as to what God's character is like and um, how we should be because we're this we want to be uh, made in the image of Christ. We want to be like Jesus. All right. So first Scripture um, we don't have to read it, but it's. Uh, Genesis 1, verse 26 to 30, just um, when 
God creates man. Um, so, point it out, you know, God created man. Um, put, a, put your finger on that. And then Deuteronomy 32, 4. Thirty-two, four. He is the rock. His works are perfect, and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just he is. That's a, a song of Moses that he was reciting before the people. Um, just again, talking about God being just. He's fair. He goes by the standard. He goes by the rule. And remember, going by a standard, going by the rule, uh, God created man, okay? Um, what's this other scripture? Probably should have that memorized, right? Psalm, oh yeah, Psalm 89, oh, right there, Psalm 89, 14. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. So justice and righteousness are the foundation of God's throne, right? That's what, uh, I'm assuming this is David, a miskill of Ethan, I guess. No, not David. Somebody else. Anyway, um, so this, this standard is the foundation of God's throne, of his authority. He is, God is always the same. He is always that standard. Remember his holy name, I am. When you read the Old Testament scriptures and you hear, I am, he, he's confirming. He is who he said he is. He does not change. He is the standard. God is that standard, okay? So now, we can, we can have this discussion about God creating man, which was the first scripture, um, Genesis 1 and Yeah, Genesis 1, verse 26 and 30, through 30. Um, so God created man. So what we can do is talk to our, our, our families about, you know, when someone, when something creates something, it by nef definition sets the standard. So if I, if, if the, 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 the one who created, say, basketball, he made the rules. That person made the standard, or, or groups of people, I don't know how many people came up with the game of basketball but whoever created it those are the people that made the standard right so we can't just uh, step out step inside of a building somewhere and put a bunch of desks together and place cakes on that desk and then start throwing computers at the cakes and say I'm playing basketball right there's a standard that's not basketball right so, likewise, we cannot um, uh, say, well, this is right, this is right, and not look, or, you know, we can't be the arbiters of what is right and what is just and what is fair and not be bringing it from the Bible. Because this is where we find God's standard, his character. Does that make sense? Um, so... And, and pretty much that's that's it and you know you all are much more equipped to teach your children God has given you these children God has given you this family not me so um, and and you can I believe you can take this teaching of God's all these teachings and teach your children much better than I could Again, this is just to encourage you to do what God has equipped you to do. Okay? That's all this is. This isn't somehow that I'm a better teacher. I, this, I could have definitely presented, it and presented this in this video a lot better. Um, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm not teaching your family. You are. That's what matters. So take this idea of God's just justice present it to your family with the scriptures you you can there's so many other scriptures about uh, God's justice um, but the point isn't to take this template and to you know copy everything I say or
or take my ideas. It's just to encourage you, to show you you can do this, and it doesn't take this. I got 10 minutes now that I've been running my mouth, and, and we're pretty much done. So I want to encourage you, please, please, um, sit down with your family regularly. Um, especially right now, we're not having service. I, I mean, do this every Sunday morning. That was the hope. I don't know if uh, we communicated that or not, but um, my hope was that, you know, instead of watching a video or something, that we sit down with our families and we have family worship time. And like I said before, the hope is that we engage in family worship every single day. Okay? So, you guys have a great day and um, look forward to seeing you when we get back to it on Sunday mornings at Harvest the Building and we get to see Harvest the family.